to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. Continuing the way these humanoids, ham and eggers, and Johnny Come Lately's are going to be following in a few years, it's Street Smart Audio. December 3rd, 2017, you know who I be. The one and only scourge of the IWC, the Fooge. To the right of me, current, reigning, Street Smart Audio pay per view predictions champion, the Poony Poon Pulverizer, the paragon of professionalism, my partner in crime as we continue this journey, this audio odyssey, if you will. Hot stuff, Hollywood in the building. How you doing? Oh, oh, oh man! After an introduction like that, after <clears throat> I've, I've now kind of feel a little bad because I had to chastise you last week about the lackluster and uh, mediocre introduction that you gave um, your Street Smirk Audio Pay Per View Predictions Champion. But this week you redeemed yourself in one of the greatest introductions ever for a living legend and i am honored to be here how am i doing i am doing fantastic how about you my friend i'm always good official.streetsmarks <laughs> at gmail.com is how you want to contact us listen to us right here exclusively on youtube street smart audio or fuck with us official.streetsmarks on mm, official.streetsmarks on ig official.streetsmarks on soundcloud street smart fan page on facebook street underscore smarts on twitter we are currently in undisclosed location alpha mm -hmm. and on this fine december day it is actually mm -hmm. quite sweltering up here yeah a little bit <clears throat> a little bit more than i had anticipated but it's quite all right yeah because last week it was kind of cold yeah it was a little chilly you know what i'm saying we made the move from bravo to alpha for the winter and uh last week it was cold this week is quite uh quite uh warm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um we might rush through this show a little bit <laughs> <laughs> just so we don't melt on y'all asses <laughs> right so uh the browns have a late game today yes indeed thankfully we don't have to open the show by taking the dump on them even though we're gonna win today so when we open the shows next week then i'll be like oh shoot the browns won last week we're getting ready to go and to get our second victory food just looking at me like i just um uh <laughs> was in the two girls one cup video and i was one of the girls but i don't know why you're looking at me like that because we're gonna win today and we're gonna win next week who y'all boy man um today we're playing the Red Hot um, San Diego Chargers. I'm sorry, the Los Angeles Chargers, because they just moved to L.A. And you said they're red hot? Um, yeah. Oh, so kind of a resurgence over there uh, with, a, with a new location for the team? A, th a little bit, but guess what? We're going to be the cold blanket, or the wet, we're going to be the wet blanket, the cold lotion on the ass. We're going to be the cock blocker, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be the ones who kick in the door right when they're about to, we're like, oh, I'm coming. But Seth, we're like, boo, ATF, motherfucker, everybody on the floor. You know, I said, that's going to be the Browns. I don't know why I picked ATF. But <laughs> I just know <laughs> there's going to be a whole bunch of prices Right inserts <laughs> and posts. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say nothing Price is Right worthy, Dag Dabby. Yeah. Right, all right, now our 69 subscribers are laughing their asses off, and I hope it. The ladies out there don't have any flat asses. If y'all are, if y'all do, then just LOL. Don't LMAO. <laughs> Hit H Dub's uh, DM real quick. I'm sure he'll um, toot you right. Yeah, I know how to get that ass back in gear for y'all ladies. Have you watched uh, Justice League for a third time? Um, technically, technically, no, I haven't. But it's definitely on my to-do list. Before I get to my office Christmas party next Saturday, um, I will have seen it on IMAX. Take that to the bank. Please. They need the money. 
<laughs> well, thank you, Fooch. I thought you was going to encourage me to see it because it was such an awesome movie. And for all the people who haven't seen it yet, you're missing out. We don't need the money. I'm sorry. Justice League doesn't need the movie. It's just a great movie. You know what I'm saying? So if you love breathing, if you love water, if you love sex, if you love um, eating, then Justice League is the movie for you, and I suggest you go see it at a theater near you. Switching speeds. Uh, <laughs> you were talking about the uh, the DC TV universe crossover. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, oh, so I got to ask you. <clears throat> and now I feel like I'm being phony because I already asked you this. But, but I'm going to ask it again for those who weren't here behind the scenes before we started recording. Did you see the CW um, two-night four-show crossover event featuring Supergirl, Arrow, The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow? No, I have not seen that show. Oh, my God. First of all, shame on you. Second of all, so did you hear about a very key character on one of the four shows dying? No. During the cross? No? No. Would you like a spoiler? You can spoil it. So, spoiler alert. So, it, during the last show of the four show crossover, two nights, night two. Was it Legends of Terrible? L Legends of Tomorrow, which is an awesome show. Um, Martin Stein, one half of Firestorm. He he got shot. Good. At, good. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> How dare you? I, I've watched two seasons and a couple of episodes of season three of Legends of Terrible. And that dude does nothing on that show. For, he is the brains of the show. He's always he, like, Jefferson. <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> yeah. that's, all, that's all you hear. Yeah. <laughs> we have a mental link. <laughs> and for them to have a mental link, right? <laughs> He's always asking them what's wrong. <laughs> what's the point of having a mental link if you're asking what's well, wrong? Well, see, he knows there's something wrong. He just doesn't know exactly what it is. That's a piss-ass mental link that he has there. <laughs> That's a tingle, motherfucker. Well, yeah, but, you know, some people, you know, say, some people, they, they be ready to shoot themselves in the femur. And then, but, you know, like, oh, oh, I'm doing okay. And then, you know, say you don't know. But with Jefferson and, and Martin. Martin Stein, you know, saying Jefferson can't get that off on Martin. He knows, like, I know you're lying, Jefferson. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm sure he can get that off now. <laughs> so, <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Very disrespectful to the great late Martin Stein. But, um, yeah, so, oh, man, it was, it was so touching, though, because, um, once he died and they had his funeral and everything, man, like they they played it up in such a way that, you know, I, I was invested in the characters. I've known Martin Stein since he was on The Flash mm -hmm. with the first Firestorm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I was, my fingers are two inches apart. I was this close, two inches apart between thumb and index finger, between shedding a thug tear when he died because you know of course Jax he was all broke up and then White Canary came in she was the second person to see him dead then they were showing up, showing his funeral and stuff but um, outside of that though it was cool seeing so many comic book characters oh here's the part that I really didn't like though so on Earth X there was a version of Captain Cold um, and the Ray, not to be confused with the Adam, um, right? But yet yeah, the Ray, they were lovers on Earth X. At Fuji's eyes just shot wide open, like saith what? <laughs> they were, and not only that, but they they kissed in the last episode three times, dude on dude, lip on lip. Um, gross on gross. I, so, um, <laughs> yeah. Hey, all right. So one one of my biggest uh, points of contention with uh, the Arrowverse is with Mister Terrific. Uh huh. Mister Terrific, he has an afro, 
Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? He's gay. When, when he's right. He's gay too? Oh yeah, he's gay. Cause you know he had he had his In dual- real life or no, on the show? No, on the show. Yeah. Well, I don't know in real life, but I mean he plays a great gay guy, you know what I'm saying? So, you oh, know. That must be some arrow shit which I don't watch. But All right. I- but point being is is that uh he has the afro, you know, saying when he's regular Curtis. Uh-huh. But then when he suits up, he has his hair braided yeah, and he's yeah. much terrific. Yeah. And I figure, how the fuck does he braid his hair so fast? Well, it's just because he probably has a shift when he clocks in to being Mr. Terrific. I would have to imagine because you can't just braid your hair on it. Because I used to have braids and it was very uh, time consuming process to go from afro to braids. Right. And he does it very quick. He's very terrific at self braiding because who's braiding his hair? It's not uh, the new canary. You know what I'm saying? I just figured it was Felicity. Felicity ain't braiding no hair. She too busy, you know, overwatching. <laughs> it might be one of her many hidden talents. Right. <laughs> Are you not a fan of Felicity Smoke? I love Felicity Smoke, especially when she wears pants. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, so, oh, speaking of Felicity. <laughs> she got ass. Her and Oliver got married as um, along with Barry and Iris at the end of. They had a double wedding? Yeah. Who cares? Somebody does. Oh my Whoever god! Whoever likes the ships, the <laughs> and Iris, Alicity, uh, and the Byrus. Or... An- an- another another point of contention contention I have with that show is Iris. Uh-huh. Iris, how does she get a paycheck? Who is her employer? Because she, she's a reporter. Uh, when's the last <laughs> article she's written? When's the last time have you seen her at? Whatever uh, newspaper <laughs> that they do, she's at Star Labs. Well, they well they only show her when she's working after hours from her day job. Duh. Uh, no, it's only... How does she get a paycheck? Because they don't show her when she's doing her reporting so, stuff. Silly. So, what kind of conflict of interest is she drawing up when she has to report on the Flash? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen any newspapers. On the Flash lately. Because we don't really care about her news articles on the Flash anymore. <laughs> we have the thinker to worry about. Um, oh. We have their wedding to worry about. Oh. Joe and Lucille are an, a big deal. They're now. expecting. They're in love and Lucille's having a baby. And She's like 40. Wally has a homosexual hairstyle. <laughs> so He's in Keystone. <laughs> <laughs> with with his um yeah his hair is terrible we call him fried dyed laid to the side <laughs> hairstyle now. wife and I call him hairable <laughs> <laughs> like why did he come back from wherever he was from with a hairdo like Elvis but he's black no clue <laughs> <laughs> and word on the street is he likes uh, sausage as well. In real life? Yeah. Because on the show, he's with uh, Jesse Quick. He's in a relationship with a girl from another Earth. From- Who's going to believe that in real life? Yeah, I got a girlfriend. She's in another Earth. That's not like some catfish shit. Yeah. Uh, it, it, uh, well, I mean, from the outside looking in, but as a viewer, we know it's legit. I'm just saying. So, like, but- while he's, like, hanging out with his regular non-Team Flash friends, right? And he's like, you know, his friend's like, hey, Wally, where's your girlfriend at? Mm-hmm. And he's like, uh, I talked to her the other day. Where she's at? She had uh, she's on Earth three. Earth three. What's that? <laughs> well, his previous non Flash friends were all drag racers, so presumably he's left them all by the wayside, and he just fucks with his Team Flash associates and his dad. No, nah, when they saw that goofy ass hair, they just stopped fucking with him. <laughs> That's what the fuck it was. <laughs> Why? Why, whatever Wally West's real name character is, why would you do that to yourself? It's like Keon Langsdale or Lonsdale or something like that. Yeah, and he's a real life bisexual. Um, I don't want to get any hate messages from the LBQTs (laughs) or whatever that shit is. I don't want no problem with y'all, but I mean, come on. There's a reason why there, there's a minority of y'all. And yes, I know I'm black, but brown skins so on a worldwide um, scope, it's more of us than the pink skins. So, oh man, no, oh lord. I, no, I, I, I'm more, I'm more, um, like, why is like every other damn superhero gay? <sighs> Apparently, that's that is becoming um, a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like. 
you know, back in the day, North Star was gay and then Kenny X bit, and it was like a big publicity stunt. You know what I'm saying? He was gay and had AIDS. Oh, wow. <laughs> right. Oh, what seems fitting. Oh, no, no I, sh- I didn't mean to say that out loud. I didn't I mean to say that out loud. We're going to come back with some wrestling. <laughs> oh, so- God damn. Told you. We're coming back with some wrestling. Peace. Listen to this.